Hi, my name is Catherine Went with Syscon, and thanks for taking a moment of your time. Today I wanted to give you a couple updates from our text, just a couple bullet points for you. Number one, uh, kind of fun, one of our clients decided in their conference room to put a QR code uh, that guests could uh, look at and get on their Wi-Fi, their guest Wi-Fi. Thought that was kind of a fun way to do that, a little creative. All the guest has to do is put their phone on it, do the QR code, and they have the information to get on the guest Wi-Fi. So you might check that out. Uh, Windows 11. So we had recently put um, an article in our newsletter reminding everyone that all new equipment ships with Windows 11. There's no more shipping with Windows 10. It's Windows 11. Now, Windows 10 won't be end of life until October 2025, and at this moment in time, that seems pretty far away. But we do have quite a few people um, already on Windows 11, and for us, our whole office will be on Windows 11 by the spring of this year. I think we only have one or two holdouts on that. And I will have to say that that Windows 11 screensaver is just stunning. So uh, it's a couple different changes there. It is something to get used to like every new operating system, but we would encourage you to check it out. It's not nearly as drastic as some of the other ones we've had in the past. Uh, Teams phones. So we recently held a webinar on this. There is a lot of renewed interest in Teams phones. Uh, just stop and think about how old your phone system might be. And the other real big game changer here is as more and more of us have remote staff, having those calls look like they're coming from the office, the availability of transferring a call to someone who's actually out of state and nowhere near you, uh, managing those things. There's a whole new world out there with Teams voice, Teams phones to make that happen. So the webinar went really well. We answered a ton of questions on there. Uh, you can check out some of our recent news articles on this. And you might also, in case you're using Avaya phones, you might check, uh, just Google Avaya. There's some new newsletter article type of things out there about Avaya. It really is time to get out of those phone systems. And if you're renting them, all the more reason to take a look at Teams phones. Uh, the last one the text wanted me to bring up, up to you is your desk, your desktop, your laptop is not a filing cabinet. <laughs> it's got limited space. Uh, there's only so many pictures and documents and things that will fit on there. And if you're not backing it up, they're at risk. If you are backing it up, there's limits to the backup service. And some of you, you just put it all on the server, but then the server has to be backed up. There are some new options here. If you're using the Microsoft 365 email licenses, you also have SharePoint and OneDrive available. And both of those would be great candidates to look at for some of those documents. And if you're using our managed Microsoft 365 email accounts, we have them already backed up for you and it includes support. So a lot of good wins there. So let us know when you're ready to talk about that and we can help you manage some of those documents that are on your local workstation or laptop, which is limited and you don't wanna lose the, any of the data that's on there. So those are the updates from the tax all four of them. If you have any questions, give us a call. We'll be happy to talk with you. For now, have a great rest of your week.